In the previous video, I introduced you to content types, fields, widgets, formatters, and so on. But in this video, we'll create our first content type and we'll call it blog. So to create a content type, just click on structure, content types, and click on add content type. In the name field, enter in the name of your content type. And, it, and in our case, it'll be called blog. And you can see that the machine name is called blog as well. But something that I like to do is give it, especially if this is a large project, is give the machine name some type of prefix. So in my case, if I was to build this for webwash, I would just give it www underscore blog. And this helps, helps with avoiding namespace collisions. It's just something that I've always done. But in, but in this case, I'll just leave it as it is. And then here you can add in a description. So let me just add in used for creating blog posts. You should give it something a bit more descriptive. And if you scroll down, you'll see these vertical tabs, which we discussed in the previous video. But what I'll do is I'll turn off preview because honestly, no one really uses the preview functionality. And I'll turn off published and also promoted to front page because often when you create a blog post, you want to create it as a draft or an unpublished blog post and then publish it when you're ready. But make sure you leave create new revision on by default so that every single time a draft article or a published article is updated, a new revision is saved. And this will save you, trust me, in the future when you accidentally override something. And then under display settings, we'll leave display author and date information. And with menu settings, I will disable this because very rarely would I want to add a blog post to the main navigation. Fair enough with basic pages where you'll add in a contact us or an about us page to the, to the main navigation, but blog post, eh, often you won't add that to the main menu, but you can still add a blog post to the main navigation from the menu section. So this simply hides it from the blog edit form. So once you've configured everything, then just click on save and manage fields.